The tool that we're going to go over right now is the shading pattern tool. So what you will first do is click on your add tools. So the shading pattern tool can be found in a few categories. First can be found in the presence discrimination category right here. You can also find it in the position angle category. It can be found in the count category. You can find the raw tool pattern search in the function list and then the last spot would be in the position adjustment category you find that right here when selected from this category it will automatically be set as a reference for position adjustment so we're going to choose the one from the presence discrimination category so we're going to take it right here so we're going to add it so the first thing we're going to do if you have not already we're going to register an image so I already have registered an image but I'll do it again want to register this image click save so we've updated all right so now we want to set our regions so this blue region here is going to be your search region this is where you're going to look for the patterns so every application is different but for this one I want to search the entire image and then for the pattern I just want to detect smiley faces so I'm actually going to do a circle region around this smiley face right here. So you can adjust that to make sure that it's just the way that you want it to be. I'm going to leave a little bit of space on the outside, but not too much, just a little bit. All right, so about there should be good. OK. So you can also notice that even if you are using a color camera, it will convert to gray. As you can see, this image is gray. We go right here. If we go to our raw image, that is in color, but the pattern tool will be using the grayscale image. So now we're going to go into the detection conditions. There is a little bit more than just angle range, so we can click the double arrows here. So a few things that you can adjust is the angle range. This is to search for tilted targets. So right now it is plus minus 30 degrees. Since it could be in any orientation, I'm just going to go up to 180 degrees plus minus. You can change the detection count as well. So if I do that, we may start to see a few more. So now we have seen these populate and I've picked up four, but since there could be up to 10, I want to track all of them but now you see that it's starting to detect a few parts that are not smiley faces the next detection condition is the search sensitivity this is a feature that should be adjusted if there is any invalid searches for the registered pattern so we may have to deal with that one because this ring right here uh, is not the pattern that we're looking for but we'll move on to the next condition. Accuracy. Changing this will change the detection accuracy for the registered pattern. The registered pattern is the smiley face here. So note that turning up the angle range, the search sensitivity, and the accuracy can all increase the processing time of the shading pattern tool. And so the last one here in the detection conditions is the minimum match percentage. And we are going to turn this up to 60. And looks like we are not detecting, we're not falsely detecting this ring anymore. What the minimum match percentage does, is it takes the correlation value of the current image's resemblance to the registered pattern. Any pattern that has a lower match than the minimum match percentage will not show up as a detected pattern. So that's a good start. Next, we want to go into the detection order. You can choose in which direction or which match percentage that you want to detect multiple patterns. So right now we are percentage descending. So this first one up here on the top left is the best match for the registered pattern. and it is the registered pattern so it should have the best match 
but we can change that to something like X ascending. So it's actually going to detect from left to right. So right along with that, our judged label is the number of the pattern to be judged. So if we change that, it's actually going to move from left to right. So we're going to keep that at zero, but it's still going to detect all of these patterns for us. So now, if I trigger through all of this, we're going to see that we are able to detect all of the smiley faces. And we're not detecting anything here. None of these patterns work. And we're back to this one, and we're able to detect the smiley faces. Now the last part of the shading pattern tool that I want to talk about is the judgment conditions. These are all pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to go into them. The count is how many that you can see. So if we just wanted to see four, if that was the right number, I'm going to set a upper and lower limit of four so that when we trigger any amount that is less is going to be a total status no good as you can see up here at the top corner and when we get back we are at total status okay because we have met that the other judgment conditions is position so that is XY coordinates and this is going off of the judged label which for right now is zero based on X ascending so that is coming from the left you can judge it based on angle and then the final one is match percentage. So you can set upper, lower, or upper and lower limits to pass and fail your patterns.